I'm back and you are watching Mountain Aromatics. Thank you again for joining me and um, Alora actually had um, a challenge for me. We're both working on the Aldehyde C12 MNA and she asked me to come up with a formula without knowing what she did. So here I go. We are going to do a um, 2 ml. I have the sprayer top that you'll click on. Um, it does not leak. It's a really good one. Um, you can get them off of Amazon. But anyway, so um, I am going to do this formula in front of you and just going to make it with you. So um, I will put the formula in the show notes so you don't have to write everything down as I go. You can wait if you would like. Um, so we're going to start off with um, Lily of the Valley. It's really nice. Um, my best friend Emily loves this. It's really beautiful. It's, um, it's very floral. It, to me, it kind of goes with the white petals. Um, honestly, I'm not sure if Lily of the Valley has... Um, I'm assuming it's like day lilies, so it could be different colors, but it just has a little bit of that narcotic, a little bit heavier than just super, super light, but it's not super heavy either, so it's not quite there. It's kind of in between florals um, and then the white petals. It's kind of in between those two, really bright. We're going to do um, just one of those. We're going to do a total of 18 drops. Um, that will give us a 15% um, solution. Um, then, I love this one, this is um, Tobacco Absolute. It's actually the Tobacco Blonde Absolute. I don't have the regular tobacco, um, so I don't know what it smells like, but this blonde, um, <sighs> wow, it's um, honey, hay on the sweet side. Um, the other, other word that it says is rich and I think it is rich. So this is actually, um, so it's an absolute, it's at um, 5%. So um, I'm gonna just use one of those. It's one of my favorites. I really, really like the Tobacco Blonde. And then the next one's gonna be, um, I'm gonna say it wrong, um, Lyral, L-Y-R-A-L. Um, it's delicate. It's kind of the same thing as like in the Lily of the Valley um, and the Lilac. Um, it's supposed to give richness and some longevity to the formula. And um, yeah, it's not quite as floral. It seems more heavier and yep, it is heavier. See how it drops? Boom. Yeah, here we go. So with this one, we have one again. One. There we go. So that's how that, I bet you that's how that longevity gets there is because it's so thick. The molecules are bigger. It's just going to stay there and last longer. Um, then here's our aldehyde um, C12 MNA. Actually, I diluted it down to a 12.5%. Um, so we'll do just one drop of that. And this goes a long way. Even at 12.5%, that is pretty strong and here we go one drop one and smelling it right out of here it's still very um aldehydic and um you can still smell the the rose though um again sorry for my dog he's okay no problem <clears throat> it's really good um a little bit of fruitiness you really have to dilute it for all these aromas to come out like the description will say um, a little bit of oh, it's kind of fatty, um, but it blends well with wood, florals, ambers, fruits, that kind of stuff. But um, that rose floral comes out the more you kind of dilute it down. So the next one is berry floor, and I love it. There's two of these. Um, it's like the berry is the raspberry, and my dog is getting into stuff. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite. It's supposed it's um, 
is supposed to add richness as well um, and give a little bit of longevity. Um, um, Algex Cinerone, it is, um, it's powerful, it's bright, but I'm, t I'm just, it smells like the sea. If you, and this is a crazy description, but if you're on the beach and you got in the water, you get out, you still have all the salt water on you and the sun's out and you're drying and there's petals, um, different types of petals, like rose petals and different florals all around you and you're smelling yourself dry off in the hot sun and you smell that salt. Um, with the rose with all the different florals together that is what this is it is it's please do not be afraid of it in fact i want to push you towards it it's phenomenal it's really complex to me um but it really reminds me of the ocean and like you're on the ocean maybe and you're smelling a bouquet of flowers that's what it's like um but it's also, I think it's more of like um, the water, the ocean water drying in the sun on your skin. That's what it smells like with the flowers. Um, anyway, that is um, Algex Cinerone. We're going to do one of those. And then um, Dimetol. Um, oops, wrong order. Yeah, sorry, wrong order. Okay, Dimetol. Um, it says fresh floral, and it doesn't give that much of a description. It's more along the lines of the lighter florals instead of the white petal heavier florals. It's more on the lungs of a lighter floral, and it's supposed to actually kind of be a little bit of like a blending all these things together although you do it is floral so you will smell that um, there's two of these that are going in there one two um, but you know what's interesting another description people have put it under um, is herbal and I can see that um, just think like obviously like a green herbal but not like heavy green herbal like uh, clary sage, not like that, more along the lines of um, a lavender herbal. Um, that's what this is. Um, so we did two of those. And then um, Xenolide, that is a, a musk, it's a clean musk. So there's lots of musk out there, but this one's like super clean. Um, just really soft. I'm going to do two of those. That's one of those. It's almost hard to detect, um, but it does smell very clean. Um, and then we're going to do Rose Jasmine Accord. This is made by Susan Lemon at creatingperfume.com. She does some incredible accords. It smells like an exact blend of roses, 50% and jasmine, 50%. It's in my opinion. And we're gonna do two of those. And then we're gonna do um, um, mail, I mean, fig accord. Um, fig accord is one of my favorites. Um, it reminds me of something, and I have yet to figure out what it reminds me of, but it reminds me of something. It does smell like fig. It has a little bit of green to it. Um, I'm here to tell you, one drop is all you need, and um, I've played with this one enough to know that it um, blends throughout. So once you put it on your skin, it's in the top, it's going to be in the model, in the middle, and the end. It's just going to be there over time, but you'll get it in the very beginning as well. And two or three hours later, you're still, you will still get it. It's one of those that kind of stays with you, but you get it in the beginning as well. Um, Clearwood. Clearwood is a natural um, from, for Manish. Um, it is, um, 
like patchouli, but my understanding is they went in and they took one of the molecules that gives the dirtier aroma or earthier aroma um, and they took that molecule out and this is what you get. It's, it is a patchouli but with that one thing removed so it's a cleaner patchouli. Um, and so it's still, my understanding is still a fixative um, meaning it will make your cologne perfume, um, your formulation last longer. Well when you make your formulation into your perfume or cologne it makes that last longer um, so we're going to do two of those and the last one again another one from for Manish is um, Mayol um, it this has to do a little bit with the white petals um, and gives smoothness it's gonna. It's supposed to like diffuse throughout um, the whole thing, kind of like I said with the fig. Um, you get it at the beginning, and then hours later, you'll still get it as well. Um, it's one of those. Uh, two of those. One, two. Is still. It's hard for me to smell. And um, they do say this one goes with bergamot really, really well. If you get right on it, I can smell it. And I can see the white petal that's in there, but it's not a super heavy white petal. Um, but it's not super light either. So, there we did. Those are 18 drops. This one is, um, I'm naming it C12 Love. Yeah. So, at 15% in a 2 mil. Um, and just on the side... I give every single thing I do a number. Every single formula has a number. This one is 251. Okay, so time to add the alcohol. And what I do right now, um, until I get my scale, I'm going to get a scale on that in a minute. But what I do is I just go ahead and <clears throat> I fill it all the way to a certain point because I know this is a total of two mls and right about there is where I know I can put in my cap and pop it on and it won't go everywhere so just do a little shake and test it out give it a second because it's strong but it'll change like within seconds oh yeah that's really nice it's um really floral but you get it's almost like the bouquet of floral meaning the lighter flowers with um, the heavier white petal stuff as well um, but that rose it's not a heavy rose um, but it's still really complex with the other things in it it's really nice it's really nice and it's to me it's not too aldehydic because gosh these things are really strong um, but it's actually the right amount just one drop of this 12.5% is actually absolutely perfect. Um, so the other thing I was talking about is the scale. So I, I decided I do want a scale because for me, I, I what I know is these drops, depending on what I'm using, they're just, some are super thick and heavy and the other ones are just super light, like some of your citruses. So they weigh different amounts. So I don't know, for me, um, I've ordered it. I'm going to get one. And um, as soon as I get it, I'm going to switch over to using my scale and doing it by weight. Um, I just think in the long run, I'm going to be, it's going to be a little bit more accurate 
and um, if I want to do bigger volumes it's really going to help me with that so that's why I personally am going to do it but still um, like Alora says we're still using drops so it's not like you're not using drops you'll still be using it I'm just going to be weighing mine um, so well we're at the end um, of the um, Fermaniche um, with this particular one it was the aldehyde C12 MNA and um, this one was called C12 love and um, I number everything this is number 251 um, and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next one and if you did like this um, please give me a like and subscribe if you have it and I'll see you on the next one thanks again with joining me with mountain aromatics